for us in Nigeria, and we're pretty much concentrated on offshore and in the deep water, uh, we've actually had a tremendous and a remarkable success ratio. We caught up with a Texas-based executive in Nigeria, and he told us what it's like doing business in his homeland. Coming to the table, and knowing full well that if we mess up, uh, those that come behind us will not have the opportunity uh, to be able to do the things that we have been blessed and opportuned to do. So therefore, there is a sense of responsibility when we come to the table every single day. And doing business in the Niger Delta can bring added pressure. The bulk of the country's oil is produced here, some two million barrels of oil a day. But production has been tainted with ongoing violence. For years, militant groups have sabotaged the country's oil industry, demanding a greater share of the region's wealth. Attacks on pipelines, oil theft and kidnappings have plagued the area, and insecurity has cut Nigeria's oil output by some 25% in recent years. While some reports indicate government corruption is partly to blame, Lawal disagrees. I don't believe that corruption has anything to do with Niger Delta situation. I think is one, the regional government was agitating for perhaps more distribution of uh, revenues. Uh, this is historical fact. And I believe certain elements of that society have taken it upon themselves to take up arms illegally and do things that is very destabilizing to the region. Now, everyone expect the government to play its role, its responsibility in terms of securing the lives and property of people. So therefore, I believe that those are taking place right now. Uh, I do not see the relationship between corruption and distribution of wealth or revenues uh, as being something that is co coexisting. But at the end of the day, I believe that those people that are responsible for militancy in that part of the Niger Delta, we come to realize that they only have one, one, one place, one region, and one country. And they're going to have to come together to solve their problems amicably. For some Nigerians, the issue isn't just about militancy, but about foreign oil companies making money off their country's resources. Lowell says he doesn't have a problem with the presence of international businesses, but he says those companies should have a vested interest in Nigeria. They should be very sensitive to the community. We should all know that we have a role to play, uh, additional to what is required by government. And those goes from the areas of education to health infrastructure, to the infrastructures like roads to serve that community, where we are getting things from. He says the local environment should be a priority as well. We have a responsibility as the oil industry to make the environment better than we meet it. And it's just really good business, good common sense, just like we do here in the United States. All of a sudden, in the last 10 years, the Green Revolution, the Green Movement, the environmental has come to the front line. Everything we do, we have to do environmental impact assessment, environmental impact studies. Same thing should go for Nigeria. Lawal is focused on more than the oil industry in Nigeria. He's also concerned about improving the lives of residents. So much so, his company gifted a million dollars to help build Abuja's International Cancer Center, among other initiatives. And whether it is to participate in the new project of the First Lady of Nigeria, on the International Cancer Center or to build religious institutions, whether it's churches or, or mosques, health centers, uh, infirmaries, uh, hospitals in certain cases. We do not publish most of what we try to do. It is very important though that no matter how small it is, we try to get involved in developing any communities where we are able. Because when others see us that originate from Nigeria trying to give back and doing things in Nigeria, we know eventually they're gonna get involved and do it for those countries in Africa also. And the community should understand that we can't do everything, 
But while we take our responsibility very seriously as oil companies, it also behoves them to understand and work with the oil companies in a way that is a win-win situation. As I said, education is one of them. Skills and labor and providing the workers that are going to work at the platform must come from those communities. Noal believes not only in the potential of his country, but also in the spirit of Nigerians themselves. There is hardly any place in this world that I've ever been, be it in Alaska in the dead of winter, or be it in the scorching heat of Abu Dhabi in the Middle East in the summer, you will always see a Nigerian there somehow, somewhere. And it just tells you uh, how much and how far Nigerians go to try and succeed, no matter what the conditions are. I believe very strongly in the people of Nigeria. I believe that Nigeria has a great role to play in the Committee of Nations. And hopefully, sooner rather than later, they will join those Committee of Nations. Mm -hmm.